Hi everyone, it's Lorelai, and welcome to our final RPG Maker With tutorial. In the last video, we finished our game with our final cutscene, and in this video, we're going to publish it to the Asset Store. The Asset Store is where you can download pre-made assets, like items, skills, and characters, but you can also download completed games like this one. Before we upload our game, we're going to want to go to the database, and under System Game Info, you're going to want to make sure all of this stuff is correct. First, the game's title. Under Game Info, you can select if it's public and if you want to allow data modification. With data modification on, people will be able to edit your game. I'm going to keep data modification on because I would love for you guys to check out this game and maybe edit it, add to it, maybe a whole nother chapter after this one, whatever you guys want to do. And if you do, maybe send me a quick little message so I can check it out. Then we can select up to three genres, and there's actually quite a few here that we can select. I'm not gonna go over this whole list, so go ahead and see which genres fit your game. I like RPG and adventure, and for the third genre, I'm going to pick the genre short. The estimated playtime, I think we can finish it in 15 minutes or so. And then under content description, you would write what your game is about. I'm going to write, Kale and Lyra save the day, and then a little plug to my YouTube channel, because why not? And this is going to give potential players more information about your game to help them decide whether or not to download it. Optionally, you could also go to end credits and fill this information out as well, and this runs whenever you have the game over screen. My game doesn't have a game over. I'm leaving it open so that people can go back to the dungeon if they want to, but it's here if you want it. And then finally, I would go to title screen and change these pictures to better fit your game. I'm gonna go with castle and sword. You can also move the command window around. This is the window that says play and continue. Normally it is centered. For our game, I'm going to go ahead, let's try 600 and see what that looks like. To test the title screen, we'll go to play from title. Okay, I think that looks good. But let's go back to the editor. After you've filled out your game info, after you've customized your title screen, and after you've filled out your end credits, if they're applicable to your game, we are ready to upload our game. To do that, we're going to save, and then we're going to return to the menu by pressing end. We'll go to Maker Plaza, post game, and then select the game you want to share. Here I'll share the King's Crystal. You can see all of our information is here, the three genres, the title, and our description. From here, you'll click Upload, and then it will bring up your game information again, just in case you wanted to change it. I'll press Upload. Okay, Upload Complete. So now, theoretically, it should appear under Search Games, New Games. And there it is, <laughs> there's our game. Thanks so much for watching, and if you watched this entire series, you're awesome. I really hope these videos helped you, and I hope you enjoy RPG Maker With. Please consider liking and subscribing if you haven't already. I make quite a few RPG Maker videos. If you do end up adding another chapter to the King's Crystal, definitely let me know either in a comment or by joining my Discord. Once again, thank you so much. Bye!